DigitalOcean Kubernetes, or DOCS, has established itself as a user-friendly, cost-effective, managed Kubernetes service since its launch in 2018. And since 2019, the DOCS data plane has been powered by Celium using advanced eBPF technology. Celium is highly regarded for its robust networking and security features, which are crucial in meeting the dynamic demands of any Kubernetes environment. And operational visibility helps understand the service maps, optimize and troubleshoot applications. And today we're proud to say that Celium Hubble is now enabled by default for all clusters from Docs 1.29 release. The Hubble integration is designed for ease of use. And once you're connected to your Docs cluster, you can immediately access both the Hubble UI and CLI with no additional configuration. I'll show you how easy it is to get started with Celium Hubble using Celium Zone Star Wars demo. As you can see, I already have a Docs cluster deployed in a region closest to me. And I've also installed the Celium and Hubble CLI, which are prerequisites to make the most of Celium Hubble. All I've done to the cluster is deploy the applications provided to me. And what I'll do now is port forward Hubble, as well as deploy Hubble UI. What this will do is open a tab in your browser. And once that is done, select the namespace you want to observe. And this will show us that X-Wing and TIE Fighter are connected to the Death Star. This also means that the both the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing can land on the Death Star, which is something the Empire doesn't really want to do. So what we can do is create an L3, L4 Celium network policy, which will disable the X-Wing from landing on the Death Star. And we can see the requests coming in and being denied on the Hubble UI. But as we all know, the Death Star was destroyed via an exhaust. And what if there is a rogue TIE fighter which wanted to access the exhaust? Well, that would destroy the Death Star. So. Let's limit what the TIE Fighters can do and enforce least privilege isolation by deploying an L7 policy. Again, all of these commands you see can be followed through Celium's Death Star demo. So now if we try to get a TIE Fighter to access the exhaust port, we get an access denied. So Docs Hubble integration emphasizes simplicity and efficiency, hallmarks of DigitalOcean's commitment to its users. Tailored for developers, startups, and growing digital businesses, Docs stands out in the Kubernetes ecosystem with its streamlined setup, effortless management, and an ideal mix of flexibility and cost efficiency. For further instructions of this and more information, visit our documentation and try Cilium Hubble today and experience the delight of Doc's simplicity and performance.